Hi guys, how are you? Okay, so can you believe it? I'm out of the 140s. Did you see it? I mean, I couldn't believe it. You need to rewind it if you didn't watch the beginning. Yes, I broke the 140s. Yeah! All right, so today is my daughter's 20th birthday. So if you hear noise going on, that's what's going on. And um, while everybody was eating their cake, I had my um, chocolate delight. So all is good. Um, chunk, I'm doing great with my five goals. Um, as you can see also with those scales, I actually had a gain one day of 0.2. And my family didn't notice. They didn't know because of my mood. Um, my mood has been even keel because I am so serious about this scale not ruining my life um, or dictating um, how I feel. Um, I really am trying so hard to use it as a tool. Say, okay, well, what did I do different that day? Um, technically, I didn't do anything different any of these days. Um, we know from reading Pounds and Inches that that's going to happen. You know, that there's going to be days that the fat's moving around and shuffling around, and it's just not going to show up on the scale. And you know what? It's okay. So stop being a scale whore, all you people. And you know what, Miss Project Beauty, uh, I'm holding you accountable. Two times a day. That's it. So you better pick your two times that you're going to get on your scale. Because that's it. That's enough. And stop with the cheating, everybody. Why are you guys cheating? Stop it. All right. Enough. Okay. Um, so I told you about my scale. I told you it's my daughter's birthday today. So how exciting is that? And, um, okay. If you have not seen HCG Katie, K A T I E, or 209 Paulina, these two are so adorable. First of all, they're young, so they have like all this energy. It's their first round, so their excitement for HCG is just contagious. So, um, I mean, I'm getting through all my, my stuff in the queue. However, I go to theirs first because they're just so adorable. Um, and it's their 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 attitude, their excitement, their energy is just phenomenal. Anyway, HCG uh, Katie um, asked basically like almost like a tag. What are your five favorite things this week? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, girlfriend. Don't ask me every week because I don't have five three things every week. I'm pretty much the same all the time. I don't even. I mean, Runkman's made more recipes than I have my entire marriage. So. More power to you. I just, I, I don't know. I just like routine. I like things the same. So this is my five things, okay? All right, so my first thing is, since I'm not real creative in the kitchen, um, one of my new best friends is Mrs. Dash. I love her. She makes cooking easy for me. Just sprinkle it on and you're done. Yes, for the culinary challenge, you don't even have to have a measuring stick, cup, whatever, teaspoon, tablespoon. I don't have to know nothing. Sprinkle. Um, while I'm cooking, I already told you in a previous vlog that this is my other new favorite person. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So that was number two. So we have Mrs. Dash, George Foreman. Number three, if you have a Henry's by you, I don't know if you guys um, kind of get sick of apple cider vinegar. Like, I'm excited that apple cider vinegar gets your metabolism going, but I would rather just drink a shot of that if I'm going to do it. I really like my salads to have a little bit more flavor, and um, I haven't gotten up the ability to make uh, Hebby Dobby's uh, dressing yet. So I like to just buy something already made. And I'm to be honest with you, I'm I'm afraid of Walden Farms. I know you guys all love it. But when I can't pronounce the ingredients that are in them and everything is zero calories, zero everything, then what the heck is it made of? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. So anyway, this is my new best friend uh, for my salads. Like um, and I don't mix things, so when I say salads, I'm talking romaine lettuce. Or when I say salad, I mean cucumber, cut up, or whatever. Oh, and Chunk, I love your chili. That's like a staple in my life. I love it. It's so easy, it tastes good, and it is so filling. All right, but back to this. All right, 
So if you have a Henry's by you, they do sell this. But um, Dr. Simeon said we're allowed vinegar. And I love garlic. So this is like phenomenal. And nutrition, it's zero. But it's not made with some ingredients you can't understand. It's just made from natural, normal food. Okay, number four. So we have Mrs. Dash, George Foreman, my garlic vinegar, and these things. Well, first of all, I use Hebby Dobby's um, Chocolate Delight recipe. So go look her up. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. If you uh, don't like Truvia, don't go look her stuff up. But anyway, these molds are like, they're, they're plastic. And I like them because you can lick them out. So I get every last bit of it out of here. But anyway, so you can make it feel like you're making a lot by using the little ones. So you can feel like you're doing a lot. Or if I don't have time, I, don't, I usually don't. I usually just put one big honk and big one in here and just nibble on it. So these are my number three. Number four, um, I don't have a prop for it, but my, I mean, my number five um, is uh, Facebook. I cannot imagine doing this without Facebook. Make an HCG account. I mean, it is so wonderful. You join these groups, and if I didn't tell you, on the right-hand side of the groups, it's going to say Docs. And it's like all these helpful documents that people have put together. I mean, there's so much information. There's so many recipes. There's, um, I mean, people like, basically I'll see a cake and I'll be like, oh, and it's for P3. And you can tag yourself in it so that you can make it later. Like the HC Besties, they have their snickerdoodles on there. So yesterday I went in there and I tagged myself so that when I'm in P3, I'll be able to make it. The other thing I wanted to tell you about Facebook is that when you go to ex more experienced HCGers, uh, say for example, Hebby Dobby will use you as an example. Um, if you check on her top tab where it says notes, it'll list everything in there. So if I've already said this in a previous vlog, forgive me, I am getting old. Part of life. Okay. Now, Chunk, the only part of my goals that um, I am going to change was I said that I was going to do shorter vlogs, but that was when I thought that I was going to be vlogging daily. Um, but reality in my life um, is I can't vlog every day, um, but I think once a week is more realistic. So I don't know about the length of it, but I'll try to still keep it pretty reasonable. Oh, and for those of you that follow me on Facebook, um, for accountability, what I do is I upload a photo of my scale every single day. So if you're ever wondering how I'm doing, if you have an account, ask me to be your friend. Don't ask me if you're using your normal name. Make sure you have HCG in there. And uh, you can just see my scale shot every single day. Whether it's up, down, nowhere, it's going to be there. So I just figure I'll put myself out there. I mean, I have nothing to hide. Um, I just have everything to lose. Okay, and lastly, um, Chunk was saying about a slogan, and I don't really have a slogan, but what I do have is in my brain, when I look at food, and I look at people eating food that maybe at one time I, I loved or am tempted by or anything like that, um, I kind of take a, a, you know that saying where it says, nothing tastes as good as skinny? Well, I kind of don't like that because I don't want to be skinny. Skinny to me sounds like a, a model where they're, you know, throwing up and trying to get, you know, so skinny. Um, but to me, um, I kind of change that to nothing tastes as good as thin and healthy. And that's what I want to be. I want to be thin. I want to be thinner. And I want to be healthy. So those are my two things. So when I'm looking at food... Um, I think that. I'm like, nothing tastes as good as being thin and healthy. Thin and healthy. So um, so that's my slogan. Okay, guys, I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Um, praise the Lord for all you that are safe with, with those storms. That was just so horrible. Um, just anybody that I know so far, thank God, has been okay. Um, I love everybody. 
Happy maintaining, happy releases, and happy loading to those that are loading. Okay, love you. Bye. Must be the moment. Got picked